Jamie, he knows my name. I got this mug for my sister for Christmas a little while ago, and it's not Christmas now. But since we're all under quarantine right now, this fun lockdown, I've thought, why not bring Christmas to April? Because we need a little fun. We need a little lightheartedness. If you all know what this is, this is Turbo Man. Turbo Man! This is from the greatest Christmas movie of all time, according to me. That is Jingle All The Way. The one with Arnold Schwarzenegger. This one right here. Jingle All The Way. And I had this on the back set and I noticed it the other day and it got me thinking. I have always wanted a Turbo Man, but fortunately never got one. And they're really, really, really expensive to find one. So I did some digging and I got myself a new printer and I thought there's gotta be some files out there somewhere to make my own Turbo Man. Well, that was fun. I already made it it's super fast. I mean, video done. Now, there's a little special thing about these files that I will get into, so stay tuned for that. This was not only my favorite movie for Christmas, it was also my sister's. I wanna make her one, but I also wanna make it a little special and a little fun. I wanna mash these up. And I have an idea. And you know what that means. It's voiceover time. Welcome to the voiceover section of this video. You'll be hearing a bunch more of this to come, but I decided to 3D print her a brand new figure because the way I'm packaging this, that jetpack there, it ain't gonna fit in place. So I'm gonna have that as a separate piece. And the other one, I had glued the jetpack in place, so it wasn't coming off. All I'm doing right here is removing the support material, and this is directly off the printer. If you don't know what 3D printing with resin is, there's a lot of support material that needs to be taken off after every single print. It's very time consuming and tedious. For the 3D printer that I'm using, I am using the Elagoo, 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 Mars 3D resin printer, the DLP style it's really really good for the price it's only 200 and i don't remember i think i paid 280 for mine but it's dropped since then i've had it for about six months or so i love that printer the detail of this thing is amazing i'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out maybe grab one for yourself if you guys want to see a full in-depth review on it leave a comment below let me know and i could probably make that happen now that i have all the support material off it is painting time and this guy is pretty pretty straightforward he only has three colors essentially red gold and that flesh color for his face prior to painting I definitely test fit everything ahead of time I've learned that mistake I've been 3d printing with the resin material for the past three four months now and I gotta say it is a dream to work with sanding is minimal and when you do have to sand it sands so easy it's nothing like an fdm printer that's for sure my paint of choice is the model color by vallejo i've had great experience with it i've used some other ones in the past um, like citadel and model masters but i keep coming back to model color by vallejo so my sister's birthday isn't until next month actually but i really have nothing going on right now <laughs> so i would like to shoot this video make this figure and give her an early birthday present because i think she's gonna like this one now that the painting's done i'm ready to assemble this bad boy up and then i'll go ahead and seal them off but what i'm using to assemble them is basically just super glue i like this gorilla gel it works really really well it's super fast drying it works amazing on resin printing so the premise of combining these two is I want to bring the aesthetics of this VHS tape. For all you youngins that don't know what this is, this is a movie. This is what an SD card essentially was 20 years ago. But I want to bring that nostalgia factor into this nostalgic figure. I want to take this and use this as the display. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is go into Photoshop and redo the artwork and see if I can get this to line up, get it to fit. Cause I don't wanna use this one cause this is an original and I wanna keep it as is for display purposes. So I had a major fail. I did a complete screen capture of me editing this cover. I scanned this into the computer, did a bunch of cool stuff and for some reason, uh, that screen capture did not save. So all I can show you is what I did. So I made a cutout area right here for the figure. I measured and kind of guessed 
and did my best estimated guess on this. But the first thing I do is I had to separate the Jingle All The Way logo and slide it over because the original one, it was definitely a lot larger and in the way. And when I hide this, you'll see some weird stuff because I use Content Aware Fill to fill in the areas where Arnold wasn't there because the logo was. So I use that to hide that, move that over. I shrunk it down as well. Here is the cutout area for the display of the figure. And also I separated Jamie from the background and that way I can move him over because Turbo Man's head was chopped off and I definitely wanted him prominently displayed. So he has been slid over. And I decided to have a little fun, removed the Fox logos most of them all but one down here and i added my own logo and just for the fun of it i put up here proof of purchase showroom collectibles i thought that'd be pretty fun if you guys don't know what showroom collectibles is slash was i used to own a retail shop and i sold that a few years ago um, and so i thought i'd throw a little retro throwback in there since it is toy related and showroom collectibles is a buy sell trade toys and collectibles that's basically the short rundown of what I did. There was a lot more to this. Uh, however, I'm not able to show you. So there's the cliff notes of what I did. If you want to do something similar to this, I bought these cases on eBay. It wasn't the most cost efficient way of doing it. Normally I would go to Goodwill and pick up VHS tapes. And they're usually about 50 cents, maybe a dollar for the movie. And I would just buy a bunch of those. But Goodwills are all closed right now because of this outbreak that we've got going on. It's a sick world we're living in, sick people. So I was forced to buy these on eBay and I've got four of them for about 15 or $16. Not the most cost efficient way of doing it, but I was able to at least get some. So if you are gonna do this for yourself, consider checking out Goodwill, not really eBay. So the next step after doing the graphics was to make this to where I can actually fit in these graphics that I did make that was in the original screen capture that didn't save, unfortunately. But I created insert pieces to mount this figure, plus give it a little bit of flair. I'm just removing all the internal plastics to where this can fit, because, you know, this isn't going to be holding a VHS tape anymore, so I don't really need all those extra little bits and bobs. However, if you do this for yourself, you have to take into account if the fact you want it to close and lock itself. So I just trimmed back a lot of those knobs on the left side there and left it to where I can uh, insert the insert pieces and it still closes securely. If you don't have a Dremel, um, I actually used a razor blade in the beginning. It's slow going, but it can be done without power tools. It just felt faster with power tools. I trimmed the bottom parts of those tabs to where the insert on the left can slide in and that worked extremely well. But just make sure to not trim those off completely because those are needed for structural integrity for the clamshell to close and not cave in on itself. This part was pretty self-explanatory, I just measured cut and cut out the cutout area for the display to see into the case for the figure. Just be careful not to cut into the front film because that film holds the cover of the VHS tape in place. So I picked up this plastic, I don't even know what you would call it to be honest, but I picked this up at a craft warehouse store and it is going to be used to cover up that area to, for protection. So it's going to be the window of this case. All I did was rough measure it and cut it in place. Here's a pro tip for you. I'm going to be gluing this onto some cardstock and I'm going to be using comic book backing with this 3M Super 77 spray glue. What I do is I rough cut it around, not going to the edge of the image. I then take that and spray it with the glue. Then I put it onto the comic book backing, let it dry, which is pretty fast. It's usually only a few seconds. Then I go ahead and cut it out completely. That way it limits the amount of cuts you make. That way it eliminates any chances of overcutting on the image if you're cutting it twice. Now I promised you some insight into this figure. How did I get this figure? Can you get these files for yourself? Not exactly. I purchased these from somebody and I don't think I'm allowed to say. This figure is the actual figure from the movie. These files were from a 3D scan of the actual movie prop. So the one in the movie, this is a digital scan from that figure, which is pretty cool. The closest that you can get to an actual Turbo Man, the real one from the movie. I think that's pretty, pretty awesome. Now I was able to also grab from him the original box arts, so I can actually make my own boxes for him. However, I can't really research and experiment with that right now because most places are closed down. I'm lucky enough to get Office Depot 
to print me some of these things for the cover and inserts for the VHS case. So the quality isn't gonna be 100% the best on these. I am probably gonna redo one in the future for myself with a little bit better print quality. These aren't that bad, but they could be better. Ah, now for the really fun part, cutting all the window pieces out. Man, this was definitely tedious, but it definitely can be done if you use the right tools. A level to use a straight edge, Mm, I would use something different, but that's what I had laying around, so that's what I used. And since I have an inside piece as well, I have to measure and cut that out as well. And that was a little bit more straightforward because I was just doing a square, uh, so I don't have any round edges or even that little pop out from the logo of Jingle All The Way. So this one was a little bit easier. So to attach the window, all I did was use some double-sided tape and that seemed to work pretty good. Now that was in, all I had to do was assemble everything and he is ready for display. So the way I'm displaying this figure is I'm having the figure on from twist ties because, you know, that's how toys were done back in the day. So all I did was I poked a few holes in the side. Then I just threaded a twist tie through and I did the same thing for the jetpack because the figure won't fit in the VHS case with the jetpack installed. Plus, it just looks a little bit cooler, I think. Now to put it back in the case, I could glue it on with the same Super 77 glue. However, just in case that those twist ties break over time because this figure is able to come in and out I want to make sure it can be replaced so I'm just using some double-sided tape it secures it but you can pull it off and interchange those twist ties and that's it there he is in all his glory turbo man only thing I wish is if I had the Turbo Man wrapping paper to wrap this up in. I don't. <laughs> well, there he is. It came out pretty good. I, I had some hiccups along the way. It's not 100% perfect. I messed up in a couple of spots, but hopefully she will like it. I think that is the coolest. And I hope you guys are staying safe and sane during this time because we are locked away right now. And uh, as you can see, I'm staying busy with some fun projects. I got some other cool things in the works. So I'll give you a sneak peek. Where is it? Ready? Oh, it's gone. What is this? Oh, it's gone. A lot of fun stuff that I've got going on behind the scenes too. I also have some more fun stuff and Turbo Man related items coming soon that you may be able to purchase if you want to. So stay tuned for that. And if you wanna get updates onto what is going on faster than, than you, the, these videos are being released, consider checking out some of the links in the description below. There's a group you can join and check me out on Instagram, faster updates and some listings for things to buy over there. Consider checking out. I would really, really, really appreciate it. Six feet, six feet away. That's too close. You gotta back up. Back up. Happy okay, birthday. Okay. It's, in Chris, it's in Christmas paper. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I, I'm excited. All I'll right. send you a video. Okay, great. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> but for now, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys like this type of content, consider subscribing. Leave some comments. Join in on the conversations. I do read every single comment that you guys post so because they're doing that and let's chat let's have a good time until next time i'll see you in the next video guys oh my god that was the beaches <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god they don't make turbo mans chris this is amazing thank you i thank you for making me record this it was really awkward but i'm so happy that i did thank you this is amazing